Hi everyone, welcome back. In our last video, we talked about what pre-diabetes is along with its sign and risk factors. Today, we are diving into why pre-diabetes should never be ignored. We will also talk about long-term risk and what you can do to turn things around. I am Dr. Surinder Sharma and I run free diabetes clinics in Chennai with charitable organizations. One of the biggest risks of free diabetes is that it often progresses into type 2 diabetes. Studies show that about 60% of people with pre diabetes will develop diabetes within 5 years if no lifestyle changes are made. But it does not stop there. Pre diabetes also raises the risk of many of the serious health problems that are usually linked to diabetes. Most people carry pre diabetes for 10 to 15 years before they are officially diagnosed as pre diabetic or diabetic. During this time, elevated blood sugar keeps damaging cells throughout the body, leading to long term complications. Elevated glucose is a general toxin. Even when your blood sugar is slightly elevated but not yet in the diabetes range, it can still harm your body. Think of high blood sugar as a slow poison that damages your cells over a period of time. Even a slightly elevated sugar is enough to cause a low grade inflammation throughout the body, setting stage for many long term complications. High blood sugar harms your heart and blood vessels. Over time, elevated blood sugar causes damage to the blood vessels leading to inflammation and plaque formation. This narrows the blood vessels making it harder for blood to flow which increases the risk of heart attacks and strokes. People with blood sugar between 100 and 120 are about 30 percent more likely to have heart issues compared to those with normal levels. Another issue linked to pre-diabetes is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD. This means fat accumulation in the liver, which can cause liver damage if not addressed in time. In fact, studies show that 70% of the people with pre-diabetes might have some form of fatty liver disease. Fatty liver affect glucose metabolism in several ways, further increasing the risk of developing diabetes. Even in the pre-diabetes stage, your kidneys can start to show signs of damage. This often shows up as albumin in the urine, a condition called microalbumin urea. It is an early warning sign that your kidneys are struggling to filter properly, increasing the risk of full blown kidney disease down the road. Your eyes can also be affected by pre diabetes. High blood sugar can cause early changes in the retina, raising the risk of diabetes retinopathy. Even if you have not been diagnosed with diabetes yet, the small blood vessels in your eyes can start to get damaged, leading to potential vision problems later in life. Nerve damage is something we usually associate with type 2 diabetes, but the research shows that pre diabetes can also cause early nerve issues. Some people with pre-diabetes experience tingling, numbness or even 
pain in the feet. These are early signs of peripheral neuropathy and studies suggest that 10 to 30 percent of people with pre-diabetes may have some form of nerve damage even before they develop diabetes. Another big concern is that up to 70 percent of people with pre-diabetes also have high blood pressure or abnormal cholesterol levels. When these issues are combined with raised sugar levels, the risk of heart attacks or strokes increases even more. So, to wrap up the things, pre-diabetes is more than just a warning sign. It is your body's way of telling you that it is time to make a change before more serious problems develop. The good news is that with the right lifestyle changes, pre-diabetes can be reversed. In our next video, I will walk you through the steps to manage and reverse pre-diabetes effectively. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get it as we post the video. Take care of your health and I will see you soon in the next video.